Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. Today we'll be covering the Matter of Time quest that is a Season of the Dawn. This is the fastest method that I've found in the way to do it and the most efficient so then you guys can get it done quick and start grinding that XP with your artifact. Now what we have to do to start the quest is we need to go talk to Ikora Ray in the tower. Simple as that. Go up to her. She'll talk about the Undying Mind. Simply grab the quest from her and then it tasks us with going to Mercury to talk to Osiris. Once on Mercury, it'll say a disturbance in Mercury. Simply load that up and then you will load in and you need to talk to Osiris regarding the sundial. He'll talk about a disturbance on Mercury and how the Red Legion are now overtaking the sundial and distorting reality. What we need to do then is we need to help Osiris by going to the Tangled Shore and building an obelisk or activating an obelisk, so to speak. So for this, we need 50 filaments from Cabal Killed. This is an easy quest, uh, depending on how you perceive it. There are multiple different areas in the Tangled Shore you can go. You can go to Sorek's Cut, or you can follow what I'm going to do. The way that I did it is that, as you can see on screen, I loaded up the Lost Sector here and simply used a solar gun. The main reason is because it does three filaments per kill compared to the normal one of getting kills with one with a normal weapon not a solar and you get one filament per simply run around the lost sector and just keep killing cabal and you should have it done roughly by this point at the beginning of the door as you can see i'm using the edgewise i'd recommend it because it's easier now what we're going to do is we're going to then go into the quests and we'll say that we need to go to the obelisk to bank our filaments once we're at the obelisk, simply walk up to it, and at the bottom left-hand screen, you guys can see on the map, there's a little marker. Go up to it, and then bank what we need to bank. Our next objective is called Light Charged. We need to collect orbs of light or get super kills. The next one will be in a lost sector again. I am in the Kingship Dock, so from the Tangled Shore spawn area, it's simply up here in Thieves Landing. Walk up there, go up the lift into the dock here. A super kill is approximately 6% and an orb of light is 4%. You can easily do this in one run. I made the mistake of running it with a gunslinger skill tree instead of arc strider. And it took a lot longer. It took about two runs. So simply grab any gun that's masterwork so you can generate orbs of light. And any super that lasts longer with each kill. So for the titan, use bottom tree striker you know, Warlock, Nova Warp, etc, etc. You keep going through this and you'll be have it done in no time. You then need to go back to the obelisk and insert your light. In other words, just bank the moats. It'll say that the obelisk has been attuned. Our next step is that we have to go into the quests and activate the Tangled Shore obelisk and visit it. Once we're in the Tangled Shore's obelisk, it'll say that timeline stabilization is blah, 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 blah. You'll get this new consumable slash currency that'll go into your inventory as usual. And once you have that, that will end that part of the quest. The major fractine harvest is what we're going to use to upgrade obelisks throughout the entire DLC. So hang on to these. The next step is a missing link. For this, we need to go back to Osiris. And then now that we've activated the obelisk, you can get rewards from them, blah, 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 blah. We need to go back to Osiris and visit him to continue the quest line to be able to activate the sundial. Once we visit Osiris, he will task us with running an actual sundial. The sundial consists of many different parts. In this footage, I was able to capture two of the areas of the sundial because I had a decent fire team. You simply load up the sundial from the Mercury menu and then just go into it. It's similar to that of a menagerie type deal where it's six players fighting. I sped up the footage because it was very, very long and drawn out of me trying to figure it out. But basically in the beginning, what you do is you just kill everything on the buildup and then it will randomly generate new areas. For this first area on the right hand side with all the trees and all that, what you need to do is you need to take orbs from one side of the area to the other and then kill the Cabal boss that spawns up top here. Not too difficult, you know, if you have a subpar fire team it will be. For this one bombardment, you simply get an orb and you throw it at the boss to lower his shield and that's how you go through it. Not difficult at all, centurions will be glowing uh, white around the map so you'll easily be able to spot them and honestly they aren't too too tanky, you know, just simply use whatever weapons you have at your disposal and you will get that done. Now, the boss fight is Nixle the Hollow Voice. 
This one is very similar to Scion Flares, and this boss fight is a little bit intimidating, but I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. During the boss fight, what happens is, to damage the boss, you need to kill the Scion Commanders that are scattered around the map. You can easily see where they are, as you can see they're in glowing bubbles. Simply walk up to them, either melee them or knife them. You can then damage the boss, and sometimes what he will do is he will go up into the air, and then these suppression bubbles will go around you. What you need to do to get out of these bubbles is you need to shoot the purple giant bulbs that are scattered around the area that you're in, that you're encased in. Failure to do this will result in you instantly getting killed, and we don't want that, so simply shoot it. Your fire team can also shoot it, so if you see a friend that is currently encased in one of these, simply make sure that you know you're not being a dick and not helping them. Simply shoot the little bubble, and then you will be free to do damage to the boss. And that's it towards the encounter, nothing else really. Once you kill the boss with whatever weapons you have at your disposal, the reason I decided to use a sword is because it was heavyweight, and it did a decent amount of damage, I think. I don't even know if I got a hit on, on him or not. But once you do that, you'll be redirected back to the sundial, where you can claim your rewards. You can either wait for the screen, or you can go up to it and see what rewards you had. Since I did the Tangled Shore, I chose the sidearm. Not sure if it's good or not, haven't really used it. But you can either get the auto rifle or the sidearm. You can also get more and more rewards from other sundials, obelisks scattered around the galaxy. And once you do that, you need to go talk to Osiris one more time to finish the quest and to get our artifact. Simply go back, like I said, go back to Osiris, talk to him, and then he will reward you with the seasonal artifact. So now you guys can start working towards that and up your light. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, I'm posting daily Destiny content, hit the notification box, comment down below what you did and didn't like about this guide. And as always, guys, have a great day and peace out.